The famous poltergeist skeleton scene was filmed using real skeletons. Yes, you read that right, real skeletons. And the reason why is completely mind-boggling. According to an interview with actress Jo Beth, the production team chose real skeletons instead of rubber ones, simply because they were much cheaper. But little did they know that this tiny mistake would unleash a curse upon the entire franchise. That this would lead to accidents, near-death experiences, actual death, and gruesome murders. Yes, we are talking about The Poltergeist Curse. Poltergeist is known to be one of the scariest movies ever made, earning it a cult status. The horror movie follows the misfortunes of the Freeling family after moving into a house built on a desecrated graveyard. But what the cast and crew of this franchise faced was even worse. Shortly after the movie wrapped, Dominique Dune, who played the eldest daughter Dana Freeling, was tragically murdered by her ex-boyfriend. Her killer claimed to have no memory of the events that happened after this argument, except for being on top of her with his hands around her neck. But that was just the start of a series of eerie and inexplicable incidents that seemed to plague those associated with the films. As for the actress Jo Beth, the actress who swam with the said cursed skeletons had a real-life poltergeist experience of her own. Every morning the actress found the paintings and wall accessories in her home to be crooked. She would straighten the paintings, only to find them tilted again when she returned from set. It was as if the curse was following her. The curse didn't stop there. Will Sampson, who was an actual shaman, and also played the role of a shaman in the sequel, Sampson conducted an exorcism to ease the crew's fears of a curse, but less than a year later, he passed away from pasta parade of complications. And then there was Heather O'Rourke, who played Carol Ann in all three films. The actress was only 12 years old when she passed away. She died of septic shock shortly after filming the third movie. The circumstances surrounding her death were unusual and left many wondering if the curse was indeed real. Lou Perryman, who had a small role, was brutally murdered by an ex-convict in his own home. But the curse didn't just affect the actors. Brian Gibson, the director of Poltergeist 2, passed away from cancer. Rich Lawson was involved in a plane crash and narrowly escaped death. All of these incidents have led people to believe in the curse. Was it the use of the real skeletons or just a string of bad luck? Nobody knows for sure, but one thing is clear. The Poltergeist franchise has a dark and disturbing history. And if you think that's the end of it, you're wrong. Love exploring the unknown? Subscribe to our channel for more chilling and mind-bending theories.